Pilgrim's Pit. Ready, Teddy? Right, so we're here at uh, the Ceramics Biennial in Spode, and um, we've, we've we've done a bit of footage here. We did, we did a bit of footage with the place at the table yesterday, and um, we tried to get down before. It's we're coming to the end of the festival now, but I'm here with Helen Palmer, the Joint Marketing Director of the Biennial, and uh, basically she's way more informed than I am about what's going on. So, uh, Helen, I just suppose you could explain us, tell us in a bit about what, what's going on down here with this lovely big cold building. Yeah, this is the... Um fourth British Ceramics Biennial, the third one that we've done here in the former Spode factory site uh, in Spode Town. Uh, it's coming to an end now, um, after six weeks. Um, although we run a festival every two years, um, we actually do work all year round, and some of that work is seen in the festival. So it is a contemporary ceramics uh, festival. Uh, it's about showcasing the best um, surround at the moment, and we have a mix of exhibitions from the award show, which you can probably see behind me, um, which uh, is the best of established talent within okay. um, ceramic artists. And, and that's global? That's UK. A global UK. UK. Okay, sweet. Um, and, um, and the winner of that uh, has won a £5,000 prize and the opportunity to exhibit at the next festival. Um, and then we have a show called Fresh, uh, which is graduate talent, um, and that's again from the whole of the UK. Uh, and we've just announced the winner of, of that, uh, who will have a residency at the Ceramic Centre, Guldegard, in, uh, I probably haven't said that right, but in Denmark, and then they'll get the chance to come and uh, exhibit in the next festival. Um, and then we have a whole series of, of commissions where artists, a number of them have responded directly to the site. Um, some artists we work with so we're in all we've got about 75 artists in this year's festival uh, and a lot of education community work and the opportunity for visitors to get clay under their fingernails. Ace, like, uh, like this, clay under the fingernails. Um, so uh, how's Pato come to the end of it now? So how's it, how do you think it's gone? Has it you know, progressed since last year? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, since two, two, two years, years ago. Two years ago, yeah, by yeah, yeah, of course. Well. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've had a great response from visitors and we've had loads of media coverage and really positive response from the media, both locally, nationally uh, and internationally. And it's brilliant to see people travel from all over the UK. I mean, I was talking to a couple of visitors who've come up from London, especially today, um, and not only coming to Spoke, but getting to other parts of the city as well, so going to Airspace Gallery where we've got an exhibition. Uh, but also Foster's Museum and Art Gallery in Walker Middle Hall, which of course is featuring on the great pottery throwdown. Yeah, I haven't really seen this yet, but it's well, worth going around. One of the contestants was in today, and was it? another of the contestants is part of our team. Ace! So, um, to go and hopefully there's a, a grand swell of interest in, in getting involved in ceramics again. Yeah, which is of course our history, exactly. and vital to our history. It's not just our history, it's, it's our present, it's our and present, it's the future yeah, as well as the city. All right, thank you ever so much, Helen. Uh, is there anything you particularly recommend us to go and do now? We're going to have a little look round to so, uh, what well, we recommend. Well, I think go and have a look at everything. Have a little look at everything, of course. Um, but but we've, what are these? You've given us some stuff. Well, there are, there are some coins from an artist called Lawrence Epps who um, won Fresh a couple, two festivals ago and he's created um, a penny pushing machine called Again. Uh, and you might have done whether you've got a coin, you've got a coin that says yes. Yes. Um, yes. And the idea is it's a, it's a critique on gambling. Okay. So it, you, you can choose to keep the coin, you can put them in the machine to see if you can win a, a better coin, yeah, yeah. Uh, and whether you want to then continue playing that. So it's amazing actually how most people have continued playing it. Yeah. Uh, so they've got addicted straight away. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna take a gamble I think and we're gonna go look around the uh, around the exhibition. So um Helen, thanks ever so much for your help. Great to meet you. And yeah, you too. Uh, so over and out, Pilgrim's Pit, see you in a bit.